hello guys it's Sally and thank you for joining me today so today guys I'm coming through with it uh, coming on rather with a flip through of this autumn journal I actually made this towards the end of autumn last year um, I didn't finish it in time to sell it for autumn so I've got it out I thought I'll I'll uh, come and do a flip through so I've got the journal um, let me just tell you what it measures it's about eight and just over eight inches by five and a half inch it's a hard cover it's a fabric cover it's this fabric on the back there so on the front I've just done a little bit of layering really I've got my fabric just an image from one of the kits that I used some crocheted lace some flowers and then it just ties with this lovely like burgundy ribbon that matches the journal it's stitched all around the outside I've got some lace down the spine there um, yeah so let's have a look what we've got inside I used a couple of kits um, I can't remember them off the top of my head because like I said it was last year when I finished it and I was having a tidy up in my cupboard and I've seen it all packaged up there so I thought I'd get it out and come and show you so the first page I've just made this little lace pocket here and I've just done some inking with I think I used yeah I did I used aged mahogany on this journal and then we've just got a journal card that's stitched around in that pocket we've got a kit page just a little bit of lace down the side it's not as chunky as the ones I'm making at the moment obviously I've progressed a little bit from last year when I was making them um, yeah but it's still a lovely journal it's still got a lot of pages and I didn't count it but there's a lot of pages in here so this next page we've got a kit page and just some coffee dyed paper with some stenciling and then we turn over and we've just got a little journal card there there's quite a bit of journaling space in here but what I've done is I've made a little notebook with 10 pieces of coffee dyed paper in so you've got 40 sides in there and I've made this little envelope with some of the ephemera that was left from the kits that I've used so they'll be coming with the journal so the next page this is a William Morris paper I don't know where it's from but I know it's a William Morris paper and then we've just got a little pocket here a couple of little journaling cards everything's been inked around by the looks of it <laughs> come on get in the pocket and then we've just got a doily and I've just done a little bit of embellishing and some stenciling on the doily. We've got this kind of, a, it's like an invoice paper with some stenciling and then a little paper ruffle down the bottom there. Back page for journaling, another kit page with some lace down and then the back of the kit page. This is another invoice paper that's been coffee dyed and then we've just got this big journaling tag in there. I'm just clipped on with a paper clip. And then we've got some more journaling space, another kit page, and then on the back of there we've just got this journal card. Here, my on camera there, here we've got a pocket with that journaling card in. And then here we've just got a piece of ephemera, like a receipt kind of thing, and a little journal card. Come on. This side is just some coffee dyed paper with some stenciling and a little file folder that I've popped on there coffee dyed paper with some stenciling and then we've just got another piece I think that's William Morris with this like flip up journaling card so there's three journaling places on there that goes on there and then just a kit page and then on here what we've we got here it's just a little flip up with some journaling space a little piece of fabric and yeah that's just that page stitched around so there is quite a bit of journaling space in this one actually we've got just coffee dyed paper with some stenciling and then more coffee dyed we've just got a kit page here more journaling space little paper ruffle down the bottom journaling space another kit page with some lace the back of the kit page here's a William Morris pocket with some stenciling and then just that little tag in there and then here we've got a tuck spot with just some other bits of ephemera in. Here we've got a kit page and then I've got one of these little dangle embellishments that I made a while back. I've just put that on there, just thought that looked nice and I've used a little maroon bulb clip to match the, the colour. And then we're at the middle of the first signature and it's just kit pages and I've just left it like that 
pocket page on the back here we've just got some journaling space with a little image on the bottom down there and then on the back we've got some stenciling and a little bookmark obviously you can stencil over you can write over that stenciling sorry here we've got a kit page with kit page on the back and then here we've got coffee dyed paper and this journaling tag all the tags have been stitched around these big ones and the journal cards you know these bigger ones and then we've just got a little tuck spot made from this lady here with just a little piece of ephemera it was only fit a bit in there and then some lace down that side kit paper coffee dyed paper and then we've got another pocket here with a little tuck on the front with some ephemera in and then pocket at the back Oop, wrong way with two more pieces of ephemera in that pocket journal in space another piece of ephemera from one of the kits it's just like a little mason jar to journal on coffee dyed paper with another one of these uh, image of the ladies on the front and then this opens out like that and you've got journal in space both sides I've done a little bit of stamping and some lace on the top of there and then that just clips onto this page here journal in space lace down there more journal in space just a kit page <laughs> excuse me kit page on the back just some lined paper bit of stencil in there little piece of paper coffee dyed that I've just ripped around little journal card there with some lace and then this is just a flip out just to write underneath here we've got a little corner pocket with some bits and pieces in there some lace journal in space kit page more journal in space and then here we've got oh that's stuck on there some more of the invoice paper just a little envelope and then I think I just put oh it's just a piece of ephemera in that envelope and then that just gets pinned on there. What did you do with that pin then, Alison? Never mind, I'll find it. In. Oh, it's here. It's gone down the, the middle. Just pop that on there. And then we've got another William Morris page here. We've got a big pocket with some lace at the bottom there. Can you see that lace? Yellow lace. And then just two little bits of ephemera in that pocket. I think that's a Tim Holtz botanical on the front of the... leave them there till I've finished kit page and that's the end of the first signature so this one is actually stitched in which I've not been doing for ages and ages but last year I was obviously stitching my journals in now I tend to use elastic bindings so we're on to the second signature we've got a kit page there and then we've got this nice pocket with some lace a little button and one of these journal cards coffee dyed paper with some stencil in a William Morris page and then just a little piece of ephemera on there the other side of the invoice paper with this little journaling tag on there with some stenciling on the page yeah the aged mahogany went beautiful with this kit that ink it's a nice colour really nice journaling space more journaling space here with a little flip up and we can journal on that side there and we can journal down that that paper there with a bit of fabric journaling space kit page journaling space a little William Morris pocket with some stenciling and some bits and pieces in there more journaling space kit page kit page some grid paper with some stenciling on there that's a Tim Holtz stencil that one more journaling space and then here just that little journaling card pinned on there oops I can't get it and then we've got another kit page here we've got a piece of ephemera that goes over the page and it just flips up and it's decorated both sides got some nice lace down there and some collage so that just sits pinned over that page so then I think that's William Morris as well with some lace down there and then we've got another big pocket here with some collage that's a Tim Holtz botanical some lace down the bottom and then this tag come on get in there we go 
Coffee dyed paper here is just a kit paper. So this one's an envelope that I made. I just cut down the side and I've just put some little bits and pieces in there and I've just done a little bit of collage on the front of there. And then on the back I've put this tuck spot with a few bits and pieces in there. Here we've just got a top tuck with a William Morris page and then a piece of ephemera in that one little pocket down there excuse me with some journal cards kit page kit page kit page we're in the middle of this second signature and then we've got a little William Morris tuck at the top there with some stenciling and a little journaling card stenciling on the back of there another little tuck here with just that piece of ephemera in there and then on the back we've just got this little pugs card clipped on coffee dyed paper here we've just got two pockets that I've made from the kit pages and I've just put a little piece of ephemera in each pocket here we've got a top tuck with just some bits in there kit page on the back and then here we've just got some coffee dyed paper with another envelope and I think it's just another letter in this one it might be plain paper yeah it's another just faux vintage letter in there that just clips onto that page kit page kit page and then I've put another one of these little dangles that I've made on there just with a bull clip and some stenciling on that page kit page here just a little flip out coffee dyed paper and here we've just got another page that opens out with journaling space on all three sides and then that just falls back up and just gets clipped onto the page there journaling space kit page kit page little pocket on the back with a journal card in there and a little tuck on the front of there we've got a kit page with some stenciling just a little uh, what do we call them paper doily with a piece of ephemera on and then here is just two little banners with just a piece of ephemera tucked tucked up with them kit page and then we've got a corner tuck there with a postcard and just a journaling card in that one we've got the back of the invoice paper with some stenciling and then here is just a little pocket and i've just put some little bits and pieces in that one that just clips on there journaling space kit page and then we're at the back of the journal and I've put another one of the lace pockets and just grunged it up with some ink there and then that journaling card in there so that's it then guys yeah I completely forgot I'd done this journal last year until I was mooching around looking for something and came across it, it was all wrapped up in bubble wrap so that's it then guys that's the little journal um, and I've done the little notebook and the little bit of ephemera so if you're interested guys I'll leave my email address in the description box just send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it so as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch take care and I'll see you all in my next video bye for now